Alright everyone Maharib is here, and I was just doing the story, and I got to this point where I have to defeat this weird looking boss. If you have already got past this point, you have my condolences, but if not, be very cautious. As you can see, I have Mustafa right now with me. He is a very powerful 4 star character, or I can say one of the best 4 star in the game. You should definitely build him if you have him. Think of him like Xingqiu from Genshin Impact. He works kinda like that. But, if I get close to start the fight with this story boss, I get these three trail resonators. One is Rover, everyone has her anyways, but others are Changli and Jin Shi. And because I am saving for Camellia, I will not be pulling for any of them, which means this is an opportunity for me to play with both of them to my fullest. I know we will be able to play Jin Shi again in her story quest as well, but this is an amazing opportunity for all of us to do something different, right? And right now, I'll be choosing Changli to fight with this boss. Now as you can see that this boss has a very low HP. I was fighting it with only one resonator, Changli in this case, and I didn't even get to use her burst and this boss is already about to collapse. Now if I will defeat it, maybe it will just continue the story and this chance will never come by again. But, if you go out of its range, the boss resets and restores its health. Now you can go back and fight it again with full health, while as you can see my Changli has a little less health because of my skill issue and she needs a little more energy to use her burst as well. Meaning now I can resume my fight with it again. Have a look. See, now I was able to use my burst for the first time. Feathers incinerate. Now that's This is known as skill issue. Each time you hit the enemy with True Sight, it will give her one stack of Forte Circuit as you can see here. When four stacks are complete, use Heavy Attack to deal Flaming Sacrifice Attack which is this Nine-Tailed Fox type of attack. To know all about her kit, watch her kit and abilities video I created before her release. Link will be in description. As you can see, we made it past two rounds. And my health is also a little less compared to the first round. Let's go out of its range and come back in. See? You can use True Sight right after using Elemental Skill. From defense to offense. Make it fast. Cross cut. Sever. Make it fast. Perish in flame. This phoenix is basically aerial true sight. As you can see, when four stacks on her forte circuit are full, I used heavy attack for flaming sacrifice, and then her resonance liberation fill these four stacks again, so you can use flaming sacrifice again. Pretty cool, right? Make it fast. Now we are going back to restart the fight. This will be our fourth round. I am going for aerial attacks this time, just to try something different. Make it fast. Mind's eye. Great. 
When you are in air, dodging is out of the question, I guess. Dodge mechanics don't work in aerial combat. the caged bird now. Fourth round is also complete, and I have no idea if I can defeat it in another round or not. I call this survival mode of my own. Sounds fun to me. Damn she looks really cool with this blindfold when her forte circuit is full. Let's fight it again. I really need to be cautious this time. This might be our last round. I have to at least fight good enough to dismantle it. And as you can see I never used her echo in any of these battles. Just because I want to play with the character, and not with the Echo this time. My personal choice. Okay, now I'm done for, oh I'm still alive. We might win this. In flames. Make it fast. Make it fast. Clear as the blaze. Oh, we were just one hit away to dismantle it. Oh my god I have serious skill issue. But then again, I was experimenting with some attacks and I had fun with this self-proclaimed survival mode. Now as you can see I have Jin Shi here and Chang Li is dead. So how can we revive her again? You guessed it. We will just try to go outside of the entire quest area and our trial resonators will leave the party. Now I have Mustafa again. Now if I will go back, we will have everything as good as new. Those who didn't reach at this point, you guys should try it and let me know how many rounds of this boss you were able to dismantle, and with which character. I will play as efficiently as I can with both Jin Shi and Chang Li and create a video side by side to see who comes on top. So stay tuned for that. And share this video with your friends, as well so they can also enjoy this small boss fight to the fullest. Because I pulled for Yin Lin, and now I am saving for Camellia. I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to play with these two characters again because I don't intend to pull for them. So I am just making the best of my time right now, and learning about all the things these characters can do. You cannot do that with smaller enemies in a story quest, but at least you can do it with the boss. So that's what I am doing. Also, I've updated my outro. Have a look. Hi, I am Muharib's wife, Layla. My husband would be very happy if you leave a like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to join our Discord server, and he will see you in the comments section. Peace!